You sure you're at the right party? This is a celebration Walk for to. the saints, is it not? Business with Marshall is less lucrative than it used to be. I was hoping your bosses would be interested in a new partnership. They're in there. I'd knock if I were you. Hello? It's Antonio Espina. <clears throat> Look, I, I know that we don't have the best history, but I was thinking, hoping, really, that we could work something out.
ready to run this town? Pretty great if you ask me. This town is ours for the taking. You've joined something big here. I need to stretch my muscles out. Getting swanky in here. Not Michael Lighty White now. We do big things here. Hope you're right. What's next then? You ready to run this town? So much to do, so little time. Antonio, glad you came to your senses. Hey, I'm kind of having a party right now, but we'll talk business later. We had a party going on, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Fuck the Panteros, fuck the Idols, fuck Marshall. The Saints are here to stay, baby. So if you know how to shoot a gun or if you're broke and wanna learn how, swing by the church, we'll be waiting for you. Hello, and welcome to Marshall Defense Industries. We you know it wasn't easy getting here. Your journey began with one of the most unforgiving job interviews we could devise. But you did more than just survive a few live fire exercises. You excelled, and in doing so, proved that you were Marshall material. But don't take my word for it. Hear it from the man himself. Hello, I'm Atticus Marshall. And I wanted to personally welcome you to the Marshall family. Here at MDI, we don't just make a problem. We make the world a better place. So how do we do that? With a little TLC. Technologically advanced weapons, loose morals, and a culture of conflict. Now let's take a step through each of those letters. Why are you watching that now? It's the orientation video. I know what it is. Why are you watching it now? Well, I mean, we're about to be shot at, so I figured it couldn't hurt to brush up on our healthcare package. If you weren't paying attention to the briefing, I don't think you'll live long enough for your copay to matter. So I should be reviewing the life insurance policy. You know, our job interview has a 5% mortality rate. Statistically, the odds were low that you would die before we hired you, but I allowed myself to be an optimist. Your parents should have treated you better. Yours should have treated you worse. All right, ladies and gentlemen, contrary to your colleague's demeanor, this is no laughing matter. The Nawali already took out one team that was sent to bring him in, and I want as many of us going home as possible. 
So stick to the plan, work together, and let's grab that son of a bitch and send him to the frontier. Let's get paid. Alpha team, go. First day on the job. Don't fuck up. Daily grind. Marshal scum! Ugh, bite me! Newbie, you still alive? You sound like you lost the pool. Fall in. We'll use his APC for cover. A rolling shield. Nice. Now I'm delighted you approve. Bailey, make a hole. Roger that. Now let's go! Through the breach. Go, go, go! Keep it up, team. Let them have it. Yeah! You guys fuck with the wrong multinational private military corporation. Hey, this may be a weird time to ask, but do we get hazard pay? We get a performance bonus for outstanding work. If you survive to collect it. Got it. Just trying to understand the pay structure. Reload!
Gwen? Gwen, can you hear me? Anybody? Shit, either they're all dead or there's no signal. Guess I should push on and find the Nawali myself. <laughs> Things we do for rent. The Nawali wants them all dead! Finally, end of the tunnel. When? Hello, do you read me? Noobie, you're still alive? Yeah, I hear that a lot. The Wally's hold up in the saloon up ahead. Rendezvous with the rest of us and we can box him in. In a minute. Gonna clear out some goons first. I gave you an order. He's on my way. Besides, we don't want them coming up behind us later. Fine. But next time I give an order, the only words I want to hear are yes and ma'am. Got that? Uh, yes ma'am. Feels good to make an honest living. No! You assholes are just working stiffs too, huh? <laughs> Little C4 should take out that barricade. My last job. Newbie, over here. Glad you could join us. Let's move. We gotta keep the Nawali hold up until Charlie team arrives. Newbie, once we hit the saloon, you flank left while the rest of us hold the center. Flank? But I can. Yes, ma'am. Saloon's right around this bend. Get ready and remember the plan. Team, let's take it. Newbie, I told you to flank left. No plan to survive contact with the enemy.
Flank left. No plan survive contact with the enemy. Blanking. Uh-huh. Now get in there and flush that son of a bitch out. What does it take for a man to be able to enjoy a quiet drink these days? Mr. Nawali, you're coming with me. You really think you have what it takes to bring me in? I mean... Yeah? <laughs> Where you fucking going? I said you're coming with me! Perhaps I don't respect your authority. Then respect this. You set one foot on those stairs. Holy shit! You know you goddamn don't. Give it up, Nawali! There's nowhere to hide! You're surrounded! Make it easy on yourself! I can't find them! Never mind. Get back here and regroup. We've got the bastard bottled up with nowhere to run. We know he's in the saloon. He can't stay in there forever. What the fuck? Thanks for the ride. I'll see you around. We need air support now. Stand down. We don't got time for hero bullshit. Don't worry. I got this. When we've got a problem. Hang on, the cavalry's coming. Oh, shit.
damage than brains. You're goddamn right, I do. You're too predictable. Am I? Well, you didn't die. All in all, not a bad start. Jesus Christ! You're not gonna last. Your pep talks need some work. This is for you. Performance bonus. Is this a joke? You, uh, you ribbing the rookie? What were you expecting? There's supposed to be a bonus based on exceptional performance. That's right. And if you had performed exceptionally, you would have seen a bonus. Oh, come on. Can you really look me in the eyes and say I didn't do well? I can look you in the eyes and say you didn't do what you were told. I saw a better way and I took it. And if you were in charge, it would have been an inspired decision. But you're not. I am. This is a warning. Fall in line or find a new job.
fall in line. Jinga. Jinga. Chingada madre. Chingada madre, carajo padre. <laughs> Mierda. Maldita puta mierda. ¡Ah! Pinche maldita puta mierda, pinche maldito hijo puta, pinche maldito culo de perro y verga de gato y todo lo que en jingada caga también. Ah, fall in line. Qué carajo. a slamming congratulatory brunch for when you get home to celebrate your first day on the job. It's gonna be dope. Oh, and it's official. I'm gonna be spinning at that idols party I told you about, so hope you can come. DTYL. Hey there, it's Nina. So excited about your new gig. I thought you'd want to know. I, I heard back from the museum. Uh, they, they went with someone else for the junior art curator job, so looks like I'm still stuck with Los Panteros. Anyway, Glad one of us had a good day at least. See you soon. Hey, it's Eli. Congrats on your first day as part of the workforce. Speaking of which, um, when you asked to borrow my copy of Be Your Own Boss, I assumed it was because you wanted to read it, not to level out the coffee table. So let's talk about that when you get back. Can't wait to hear about all the HR forms I'm sure you had to sign. amazing, Kev. You know what would make it smell even better? Hey, man, if you want a $300 waffle maker, you can buy it with the exposure the idols pay you in. Don't expect us to chip in. I've told you before, the idols are trying to build a post-capitalist society where money is not a concept. Yeah? Then why don't you go run off and join the commune? I'm into showering. Are you gonna help me get the waffle maker or not? As an investor, I don't like wasting money. You're wearing a fucking bow tie. <sighs> okay, I will throw in 20 bucks for a waffle maker. Nina? Um, good for 10? Who helped you move your forged paintings last month? Fine, 15. W what sort of waffle maker can I get for 35 bucks? Uh, presumably one that makes fucking waffles? Mm -hmm. hey! <laughs> hey! The wage slave is back! How was your first day? Were the other mercenaries nice to you? You know, as far as hired killers go, I'd give me seven. You look like you could use a mugmosa. Thanks, Eli. Seriously, how's the job? Eh, it's the murder business. The fundamentals don't change, just the uniform. Uh, I can tell you love it. <laughs> okay. I don't have to love it, I have to pay my student loans. Pfft. <laughs> Amen. So, I'm guessing that means the pay's good. Hey, it's supposed to be. Got stiffed on my bonus today. Dude, what the fuck? Uh, played a little fast and loose on the job and, uh... Well, my CEO wasn't a fan. You gotta be kidding me. Swear to God, this lady walked right off the set of an 80s action movie. I was half expecting her to call me Rook and threaten to take my badge. Are we gonna make rent? We'll make rent. We just gotta be a little more creative. Last time we got creative, I got stabbed three times. Hey, it would've been four times if Nina and I hadn't shown up. It would've been zero times if you were on time. This is true. Look, this is really not a big deal. We just knock off a payday loan place. No one gives a shit if people rob those bastards. You have a job now. You could actually just take the loan. Eli, I don't do business with morally bankrupt companies. You work for Marshall. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosas, not debates on morality. All right, all right. Come on, this was really fucking good, Kev. Thanks. I was worried I added too much pepper. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. Mm. No, seriously, this is perfect. The only way this could be better is if you put on a fucking shirt. Dinner and a show, baby. Oh, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, brunch is done, dishes are clean. Let's go rob a payday loan place. And you know how. So, Nina, are you taking your project car? Fuck no, I'm not risking my baby over rent. We're boosting cars from down the street. Ooh, can we take a hybrid? Eli, I love that you're worried about fuel efficiency, but I'm thinking acceleration is gonna matter more. Your carbon footprint always matters. Let's take that yellow one. Kev, you case the place. What are we looking at? One guard out front and the owner at the till. He's a real scuzzbag. I want some kick a dog. So, you know. Fuck that guy. It's there. Let's get psyched. But only you oh, can no. decide how you Not this crap again. Okay. Only the you can Don't yuck someone's young. The changes that life throws your way. You have more agency and power than the world wants you to know. But to realize that power, there's something you need to do. You need to be your own boss of your job, of your happiness, of your life. Be your own boss. That's right. Be your own boss. One of these days, I'm going to get you to listen to music in the car. Roger McGillicuddy speaks the music of my soul. You are a different kind of cat, Eli. What can I say? The world is full of uninteresting people, and I'm not gonna be one of them. You got one of those for me? You really want one after last time? I am not the first person to accidentally shoot a friend by dropping a loaded... Yeah, okay, I don't need a gun. Good call. Showtime. So I made them watch while I broke their dad's... Oh, shit. Walk away, or the phrase dead-end job gets literal. <gasps> I, I don't have much... We don't want your money, just his. Get out of here. You done fucked up. I've been getting that a lot lately. Where's the safe? If you're lucky, the cops will get to you before my people. <laughs> nice left. Been practicing. I can tell. Safe's back here. This guy had his password be a bunch of fives. Pick it up, Eli. I'm just saying, he could have at least made his work for it. Same plan as last time. Eli, Kev, pretend traffic laws matter and get the money home. Nina and I will split up and give the cops a runaround. Cool, let me get the McGillic. No! Oh. Try to keep up this time. Yeah, yeah. See you at the switch. Time to beat it before the cops show up. Life is full of adversity and challenges. But oh, fuck no. Monitoring the police scanner. They're just responding to the call. Cops are now en route to the painting place. Sounds like they're out in force. Ah, oh, crap. Bad time for a train. Shit. Guys, I got cops on my ass. Nina, don't wait for me. I gotta lose these guys. Try sideswiping them. It always works for me. Just let them get alongside you, and then bam, send them into a ditch. Ah, I'm going too slow. The best hit comes from full side to side contact. You'll do more damage the faster you go.
<laughs> I took care of them. How's everyone else? Eli and I made it home with the money. You ready for karaoke? Start warming up those voices. Nina, where are you at? Just changed cars and headed home. Good. Headed to my switch car now. It was safe and sound at the junkyard a minute ago. That's pretty deep in Pantero's territory. Did you tell your gang you did that? Are you kidding me? If Sergio knew we were running a job on his turf, he would have taken a 90% cut. 90%? Good God. The man's either a monster or a capitalist genius. What the fuck did you assholes do to my getaway car? Ain't your car if it's on our turf. Now you're gonna pay for parking. Let's do this! I needed that fucking car. You wanna die for that piss ass car? I don't have time for this shit today. I'm gonna watch you burn. Things I do to pay my rent. Take over! can't fight back against us! Problem. Los Panteros scrapped my switch car. Hey, what? Bigger problem. The police picked up that firefight at the junkyard. They're heading your way. Grab a bike and head off-road. I'll pick you up in the desert. Damn. Sounds like no karaoke tonight. Every fucking time, man. I'm on my way. There's a trail that goes between the mesas. I'll meet you on the other side. Got it. Do I want to know what happened to the Panteros who stripped your car? Sorry, Nina. Self-defense. Fuck, I didn't want that to happen. Let's hope Sergio never finds out it was us. You free and clear yet? Not at all. I've got cops up the ass! I'll pick you up on the other side of the bridge. You didn't want to risk your car. I said I didn't want to risk it for rent. I'd risk anything for you, dummies. So, is this how it's gonna be every time we have to pay rent? I thought that went great. Yeah, okay. Maybe I can go back to running my old side hustles for extra cash? Don't worry. We'll figure it out. This town is full of opportunities, if you know where to look. <laughs> 